Hi, this is Rose Castillo with Crafty Night Owls. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I wanted to show you how to make this quick and simple card. Isn't that just adorable? And I'm loving Watermelon Wonder and Mint Macaroon together. It just looks so pretty. And we are using the Balloon Adventure stamp set. Now, I got this stamp set out because I am celebrating 10 years of Stampin' Up! this this month this week actually is my 10 year stampin up anniversary and so i was like you know what i need to do something that's like birthday or celebrate anniversary and so that's going to be my theme this week and so i pulled out this stamp set and then i was like where are the dies that go to the stamp set i could not find them anywhere and i thought surely like i misplaced them but then i remembered that i actually got this stamp set at a Stampin' Up! event in November for free. And so, because I got the stamp set, I guess when I've been looking at the catalog, I just didn't, it didn't cross my mind that I hadn't ordered the coordinating dies. So I will be doing that so that I have them because they look really cute together. And I, they do come in a bundle, but when you earn the stamp set for free, it's still cheaper just to buy the dies, right? <laughs> and so anyway, I need to get those dies. But then I was like, okay, what am I going to do with just the balloons or the sentiments? And I came up with this card here and I am going to be using Whisper White cardstock. I'm using the um, Watermelon Wonder striped paper that comes in the paper stack. And then I already stamped some balloons. Now, I stamped these on vellum, as you can see, and that makes them transparent. And that just really reminds me of real balloons because when balloons are stacked together, usually, you know, you can see them behind one another because they're transparent. And so I stamped them on vellum. And the reason why I did that is to give it that realistic look. So I am going to just take my Whisper White cardstock and I don't know where my bone folder is it's somewhere around here and I am going to just fold that in half and then I'm going to take a piece of vellum hopefully this is big enough I was grabbing a scrap yep it's big enough and I'm just going to show you what I did and I am going to be using my stamp and pierce net underneath my scratch paper here because this is a photopolymer stamp set and if you don't this balloon tends to not stamp correctly. And the vellum is not porous, so it doesn't soak in the ink as well as cardstock. So that's the other thing. So let me just grab some mint macaroon real quick and just ink up my image. And then I'm going to just stamp it down. And there's other images in this set that um, there's like the polka dots here or the stripes that you could put over but I just wanted the simple balloon look and you can see right there where I got a couple of spots where it didn't um, really blend well or soak in well so I just take my finger and rub it in that's just something I do and clean this off and then I am going to also do that in watermelon wonder now you will want to give these some time to dry otherwise you will make a big mess because they will bleed onto one another especially with the watermelon wonder being so bright and vibrant you will end up with a big mess Ooh, see that one didn't come out very well at all but I got my little trick to do that I just fill that in and you can use a sponge or a dauber to do this and it would do just as well and not as messy so Anyway, let me put that aside before I end up with ink all over my project. Let me clean off my finger too because I don't want to put that on my white cardstock. Anyway, you could take a heat tool to these or you can um, let them dry for a while. The other thing is that we have the balloon builder, not builder, but balloon punch. And these punch out just perfectly with this. So if you don't have the dies, you don't even have to fussy cut these if you have this punch or if you want to just add that to your order. So that is how you can punch those balloons right out. Just let them dry like I said and you can add them to your project. Now I, I did these others you know earlier so that I can um, have them ready for camera 
because I don't have the time to dry and I didn't want to pull out my heat tool because then I need an extension cord um, for where my desk is because I have my lights set up for my camera. And so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do those ahead of time, let them dry, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of the strings here and I'm using smoky slate because I didn't want something real dark and I'm just going to kind of make them all meet in the middle here and just keep going. I need six strings because there is six balloons and then I'm going to, there's this other one that's a little bit straighter, so I'm going to do that one also. And um, just add a few more. And just make that they're meeting there in the middle so that it looks like all those strings are going to all of my balloons. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which I stamped right over my little strings there. And it just says, let's celebrate, because I am in a celebrating mood. Okay, let's go ahead. You can put this off to the side if you want to, or you can put it anywhere. But actually, I thought about adding the sentiment after I had already put the card together, have it up on dimensionals, and I thought, I hope I don't ruin this. So I'm going to actually put this over to the side this time and see how that looks. Let's celebrate. All right, that looks cute. The other thing I did is I got some mint macaroon ribbon and I'm going to tie a knot and I'm gonna put it right there in the middle of that bunch of um, ribbon or strings or what is it called? Yeah, I guess it's ribbon, you know, the curling ribbon. And I'm going to just tie a little bow here and then I'm going to cut that off and put it right there in the center. And that'll kind of cover up those, the messiness of my strings. My sh or whatever. I keep wanting to call them strings. I don't know why. My ribbons. I'm going to put that right there in the middle. And let's just make this a little bit cuter. All right. So we're going to put that there. Put that aside. Okay, now we are ready to assemble the card. And so I am going to, let me move this out because I'm on an uneven surface and I don't want to mess up. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my multi-purpose glue. If I haven't, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I am doing a special this week for my anniversary with Stampin' Up! And you can purchase an adhesive bundle for $30.00. And this adhesive bundle includes my favorite adhesives and it will be delivered directly to your door and sorry, excuse me. I am off. It's the discounted rate. So typically it would cost you more than that to have to buy all five of, these, of those adhesives. And that's the multi-purpose glue, stamp and dimensionals, mini glue dots, tear and tape, and a fast fuse. And we're going to use Fast Fuse right now. I love this stuff. I hate this stuff. I mean, it, it it's a good adhesive. It's nice and strong. And it's, it's really good. But I just sometimes struggle with the whole, like, um, checking off to the right and left. So, but I love it. And so that's the five adhesives that you would get. And the other thing I love about Fast Fuse is you can't see the adhesive through the um, vellum. I can't think of what that was. Oh, I got to put some more adhesive down. <laughs> and then um, that's the other thing that I love about tear and, I mean, not tear and tape. Um, oh man, Fast Fuse. Can't think today. Okay, one more right in the middle here. You don't see the adhesive through it. That is the amazing thing. Okay, and let's get a stamp in, I mean a glue dot. This is another adhesive that's included in that bundle. So there's five adhesives. Glue dots, Stampin' Dimensionals, Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue, Tear Tape, and Fast Fuse. Now we are going to 
put this right in the middle here and I wanted some dimension because I just love dimension and I can't find my dimensionals. I think I might have ran out the last time. So let me grab a new pack out and let's see, get some more. I go through these like crazy. So let's add a few here and there on the back of this project. This is a really simple project and it doesn't take very long so that's always my favorite because I have three little ones and I just never know when I'm going to be interrupted by them. So even right now I could be interrupted <laughs> during this video. I let them play the Xbox right now. I'm like hey you guys want to play some video games? They love that so anyway I am hurrying up so hopefully I can get through this without having to edit out mom he's not sharing with me okay I know nobody else's kids are like mine right okay there you go that is so quick and so simple and I just think this card is just super cute and I am excited about it if you like it make sure to leave a comment and let me know thank you for watching my video today and oh before I go Here's that special that I'm having. There is a hostess code. You can place an order using that hostess code this week, March 20th through the 26th, 2017. And for every order over $25 that uses that hostess code, I will send you a birthday present from me. And that birthday present is going to be a surprise, but it could be um, rhinestones, pearls, anything. Um, maybe some sequins, I don't know. I will figure it out as I go along and I'm going to be ordering those after the 26th and then once I get them, I will ship them to you as a um, birthday thank you and I thank you for being a supporter of me and my Stampin' Up! career. Thank you and you have a great day. Bye-bye.